Hey guys, this is Dan Durang with Rhino Cyber Security, and today we're going to talk about Metasploitable 2. That's right, how to install Metasploitable 2 on Kali Linux. I have a cheat sheet on how I install Metasploitable 2, and it works every time, and I want to show you this because it's great. It only takes like five minutes, and you're going to be so happy afterwards. I think you're going to be thanking me for it. So stay tuned. If you like my content, make sure you subscribe and click on that little bell so you can get notifications as soon as more content is out. Metasploitable 2. It's probably the worst, crappiest Linux distribution out there. But it's got a purpose. Yes, Metasploitable 2 is the most insecure Linux server you can find in the world. So it's great for practicing. Do you want to be an ethical hacker? You can do so many things with Metasploitable 2. You can do anything related to web, any type of attack, SQL injections, brute force entry, cross-site scripting. You can do character smuggling, all of that stuff. From the network side, you can deploy all kinds of RCEs, so remote uh, code execution remote connections, uh, paid loads, uh, shut off services, uh, and of course, getting the box, hacking the box. That's the most important thing. For this video, I'm going to be using my virtual box on Mac OS, although it works in any Windows 10 machine just as well. So let's power up virtual box and uh, all right, so it's ready to go. I'm going to go into my browser Let's expand this a little bit and I'm going to search for Meta Exploitable 2. Right. Okay, I got this. If you go to the Meta Exploitable 2 under the Rapid 7, because it is a Rapid 7 product, then it will give you two links. The first one, obviously, is the Rapid 7 link where you have to enter your information. So, first name, username, etc. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to go quick and dirty into sourceforge.net projects. And you can download it right from here. So I'm going to click on download. And of course, I already have a copy of it. So I'm just going to fetch that copy. Uh, let me just cancel this and fetch my copy of made exploitable here it is and zip it okay now that is unzipped here is what i need i need the vmdk right so what i'm going to do is you go in here you create a new version and you type in Made up exploitable two virtual machines, Linux, and I'm going to pick Debian 64 bit continue. Mm, you don't need much memory on this thing. You're not going to do anything with it other than power up and then just hack it. <laughs> All right. So continue. And here um, you're going to create a virtual hard disk, right? So and you're going to select vmdk and continue dynamically allocated continue and don't worry about this right now um it asks for a gigabytes of ram you can e even put it maybe a two i don't you don't need much for this thing all right so create and voila now that is created what i want you to do is basically uh copy this vmdk here so and then go to your computer so uh computer or users there it is computer users dandering which is me virtual box vms 
And look at this, it's already created for you, right? So I'm going to click on Metasploitable 2 and I'm going to paste this VMDK, right? So command V and there it is, right? So what I want you to do now is go back to your Metasploitable 2 and click on settings. Once you click on settings, go to your storage and you see here where it says Metasploitable 2 VMDK. Click on this little disk in here and choose a virtual hard disk. You click on it and then click on add. Okay. And select not number two, but the actual VMDK that you just pasted on this folder. Select that, choose, click OK, and voila. Let's see if this works. There you go. Now it's powering up. Amazing. Quick little trick. It works every time. All right, so for logging in, you just type in MSF um, admin, right? Password is the same, MSF admin, perfect. Oh, MSF admin. MSF admin, there you go. Perfect. Now let's see IPA. Oops, doesn't do IP, so IF config, there it is. It's reading 10.0.2.15, and you got your um, machine working. And let's see if if I run my Kali Linux, let's see if, uh, if it's pinging that machine as well. So let's power up Kali Linux. All right, so let's do a terminal. Okay, sudo su, okay. And let's see, ping 10.0.2.15. And it's right there, perfect. Control C, Control L for clearing. And there you go. And there you have it. Metasploitable 2 in two minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, make sure you use the little box down below. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Stay secure.